What it do? DJ Shay is back again with another video. Today we're gonna talk about the truth of being a DJ. We're gonna get down to the five tips that I came up with to talk about the behind the scenes DJ, you know what I'm saying? The truth, you know what I'm saying? So number one, we're gonna start with expenses. You know what I'm saying? The number one point is expenses. If you wanna become a DJ, it's expensive, bro. This stuff costs. Stop taking the cheap route. Never take a cheap route. Like I was saying, if you the first thing you should buy is probably a MacBook. I'm be honest with you, man. I don't, I don't have no PCs. I'm not. I'm not endorsing PCs. I, I started with PC. It crashed on one time to get, and I hard drive didn't work. It crashed. Everything was brand new. So, but I bought a Mac. Never look back. That's the motto. Bought a Mac. Never look back. So. A good MacBook gonna be between fifteen hundred and three thousand. You gotta be flipping the hard drive around. That's that's a must. You gotta get you some good speakers, man. Entry levels is cool for our first couple gigs, first year. Second year, you should be on pro level. That's how I feel. You should at least have like the second tier or third tier of speakers. You know what I'm saying? Like you got an entry level, you got a mid grade level, and you got a a pro level. So. You can't be having entry level speakers DJ for 500 people, you're gonna burn them out. So, upgrade your speakers every year or every two years, whatever you wanna do, you know what I'm saying? You start making money, you gotta invest it back into yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the main thing, like the laptops, uh, speakers. And the next thing is controllers or whatever you wanna use controllers, turntables, vinyl, whatever. Whatever works for you. I'm not gonna tell you what to get or not to get, but. That's point number one, it's expensive, you know what I'm saying? That's the the main important thing. Like before you become DJ, you think like, I want a DJ. I mean, it's cool to be a hobby, get your little controller, but you want to get deep in this, man, you're going to have to spend that money, straight up. You're going to have to spend some money. I don't even know how much I don't spend over the years, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Don't even want to think about it, but. So I messed up, man. Get some insurance on it, straight up. Okay, second point. The second point is free time. You're gonna lose a lot of free time. You're not gonna be able to chill with your friends, all this other stuff. You're gonna miss on holidays, a lot of stuff, man. So just remember that, bro. This requires a lot of time, including practice, practicing mixes, you know what I'm saying? Just um, learning the craft. Uh, like sometimes you might have two gigs in a day, three three gigs in a day, maybe four. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what you booking, you know what I'm saying? Or how you how you uh performing, you know what I'm saying? You, the gigs gonna come, bro. If you're doing your part, you know what I'm saying? You're executing on your job, they gonna, it's, the gigs gonna come, the money gonna come. So, and you gotta understand, like, bro, it's gonna take a lot of time. Like, you might have a, a every Saturday gig or every Friday gig, you know what I'm saying? You gonna miss some stuff with your friends, but man, get the money, bro. Do what you do, do what you do. Do what you love, do what's important. You know? So I'm not gonna tell you not to turn down on gigs, but you start turning down gigs, they might not book you no more. So think about that. So that's point number two that I wanna cover. Free time, bro. So next point I wanna cover is traveling, bro. Sometimes you might be required to travel to another state or another city, you know what I'm saying? Or out the country. You know what I'm saying? I got people hit me up by doing weddings and Mexico and other places like that, you know, like Puerto Rico and stuff, but I mean, that's a fee too, but still like, if you want your uh, network and brand to go different places, you're gonna have to travel, you're gonna get out your little local city or town, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go other places, get known, you know what I'm saying? Make other connections, network. So think about that too, man. You can't just, you can't just uh, get used to just being in the same city all the time. It's cool, make your money, but you, you can go to Miami, go to LA, make double what you making, you know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to travel. So the next point I wanna cover is uh, you might be by yourself a lot, so it's all right to be lonely, you know what I'm saying? So your friends that can maybe come with you all the time or whoever come with you to your gigs, they got other other issues, they got life too, so don't be mad people that don't wanna call them or come help you, so. You're gonna be by yourself, you're gonna practice by yourself, you're gonna buy this equipment by yourself. So most of this stuff gonna be by yourself, so just get ready to be by yourself all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all the time, but just put that in your mind that you're gonna be by yourself a lot and doing a lot of stuff by yourself. So 
you're going to be moving around, get to get to get, you know what I'm saying? So remember that. People got lives too, so it's all right by yourself, so don't feel bad about it, you know what I'm saying? So that's part number four is you might be lonely at times, but it's all good, so don't even sweat it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Next point I want to cover is deal with a lot of fake people, a lot of shysty promoters, cheap promoters, and you're going to deal with a lot of haters, you know what I'm saying? With that being said is people might hate you because you cool with some other people or people might not like what you play or how you play. Or they might just hate you because you, they might just hate you just because you, or you know what I'm saying, being yourself. So don't take it personally, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna deal with a lot of fake promoters, you know what I'm saying? Like people, people might just book their friends because they're a DJ. It might not be good, this is that, you know what I'm saying? So don't take it personal. Or they might book their friends because they're a DJ or they got a cheaper rate than what you charge. So it's not about politics at the end of the day, man. So you're gonna deal with a lot of fake people and a lot of fake situations. Never take it personal. This is a business at the end of the day. But some people DJing is, is just for fun or hobby. I used to feel like that too, but man, this is a business now. So let's get to the money, you know what I'm saying? So, don't let that don't let that stop you at all. So remember that. Never take it personal. This is a business at the end of the day. For me it is, but for you it might be a hobby. So ask yourself is is this a hobby or a business? And then you can decide how you feel about it. So that's deep. Think about that what I just said. But that's my five points that I want to cover about DJing, you know what I'm saying? The dark sides of DJing. This is basically the truth of DJ. So that's the review again. This is very expensive. This is gonna require a lot of free time that you gonna miss. Uh, situations like traveling and other stuff like that. Being lonely is number four. And number five is dealing with difficult situations like haters and fake people. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of things that I didn't cover, but they're just the five that stuck out to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nobody else talking about it, so I'm gonna talk about it. So that's what I wanna cover today. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know what I'm saying? Get, get my followers up, you know what I'm saying? Pass this around, share it out, you know what I'm saying? And that's it, you know what I'm saying? It's just another video on health tips for DJs, you know what I'm saying? The truth about DJs, if you really wanna be a DJ. So, more videos on the way, so you know what to do. I ain't gotta keep telling you, you feel me? Over out.